Welcome to Corvex, a new geometry plugin for 3ds Max developed by Wallworm. This plugin allows you to build complex, convex scenes for level design purposes, and it gives you simple UV tools. We're going to start with an example of a type of object that's standard to Max a box primitive to contrast it with how Corvex works. If I wanted to create a scene in 3ds Max with basic boxes, for my layout. To start with, you'll notice something that the default UV of these objects is such that each face is always one-to-one -one UV space. A bitmap always fills it up. And there's a lot of controls in 3ds Max to control all this. However, sometimes it's inconvenient and time-consuming depending on what you're trying to accomplish. If we want these bitmaps to tile at a certain exact fixed size between multiple objects, you may find it challenging with certain default tools in Max. And to demonstrate it with another type of primitive, we'll use the standard wall object. As you can see, this object has a UV tiling that probably isn't exactly what we want. However, making environments like this is something we do want to do for laying out a scene for a game. That's where Corvex comes in. Let's delete these objects and start afresh. Let's use Corvex. We place a Corvex object in the scene and then we go to the Modify tab. At this point, we actually start creating layouts with spline bases. So if I hit this button, Add Spline, and start drawing in the scene, you'll notice that I now have an object that tiles with specific dimensions all the way around. So the tiling is seamless between one face to the next, and it's controlled, if we go back to our Corvex object, with various UV controls directly in the object geometry. This is beneficial so you do not always have to add UV modifiers in order to control the UV layouts of your of your geometry. And of course if you need to specifically tweak things you can always go in and change them by adding extra things on top like a unwrap UVW or basic UV maps. The default behavior is to have the bitmap match one-to-one -one the height of your current object. And the height is controlled by this height parameter so we can change the height of our object and we can also if we don't want it to match the height we can uncheck this and then choose change the height of our bitmap with this spinner here we can also change the U and V offset of the mapping. Notice again at the corners they will seamlessly tile as we change this offset here. And that will happen across all the edges around until you get to the final edge which cannot always be mapped but sometimes it can be. We also have controls in the UI for changing the rotation of the top and bottoms of the geometry. We can add multiple splines. If we want to add a new spline to this object, we can just do this. And we can add as many objects as we want to the scene by controlling them with splines. And any one of these splines, if we want to change them after the fact, we can go to their vertex sub-object level and move them and you'll see that the geometry will match the changing of the spline points. And if we go back to our object here, we can change the height of all of these objects at once. This is a basic introduction into Corvex and there will be more videos following.
My name is Sean Olson. You can learn more about me at my website, seanolson.net, and you can learn more about Wallworm at wallworm.com. Please watch the following videos to learn more about Corvex.